What is up everyone? I am at the Valley West Mall with a very convenient located um, little living room area and I'm going to use it to make part of my video and if it doesn't appear in the rest, well, it's only whatever. But today we're going to be talking about basically what makes up muscle, what it's for, what we can do with it and how to keep it healthy. So stick around because that is coming up right now. Welcome everyone to Do More, Be More. So even if you're not sure if you want to build muscle, I mean, this will at least help you get educated and it'll make a final decision if you want to do it or not. Basically, muscle is tissue. It's tissue made up with stretchy fibers that uh, allow it to grow or not grow and just simply get smaller to the size that it was originally meant for. Now, it's not about whether you want muscle or not because we all have it. So if you don't have it, you can't move. That helps me do this, that. It's not that we just wanna lift weights, but we wanna pull something to ourselves, push something away. Whatever it is, we're gonna need muscle. Now, how do you build muscle? Well, when you exercise, you are breaking those fibers, those stretchy fibers, you're breaking them down. So after that happens, they try to, just like the body regenerates itself as, as long as it can, it'll fuse those fibers like a fusion. And it'll grow, gets bigger, and depending on the kind of exercise you do, it, that's, the, depending, that's how big the muscle will get. And of course it happens over time. Now it just doesn't happen when we're exercising. When we do everything in our lives, chances are if we work in construction or we're constantly pushing boxes, whatever it is, it doesn't even have to be strenuous. As long as we're moving, the muscles will always somehow have at least small um, damage, let's say. We call it damage, but it's the body that's regenerating into something bigger or better. So yeah, I mean, whatever it is, we're going to have some kind of tissue damage because that's just the way the muscles work and it will come back stronger. So it just depends on how much you're lifting, what kind of exercises you're doing that will depend how they repair, how much they grow. Now, if you're just getting started, there's a few things you would have to know because a lot of people want to know, want to know if they start lifting weights, will they get too bulky, too muscular, and their clothes won't fit right. I have good news for you. If you're just starting out, you won't have that problem. Most of these bodybuilders have been doing this for absolutely long amounts of time, um, years, I mean, sometimes all their life and they're carrying really heavy weights. I mean, they're deadlifting four, three, 400 pounds. And honestly, if you think you're gonna do that on the first shot, you're in for a surprise. The fact of the matter is, the, like whatever physique you're trying to imagine in your head is what you're trying to get. I mean, if you wanna get into fitness, chances are that that kind of physique has developed some kind of muscle. Now, it doesn't have to be huge. And trust me, it takes a while to get to that which actually just means that if you don't want to be too big, you actually don't have to work out as hard as you think you will. You still need to exercise a little bit because even if you don't want to look, even if you don't care to look a certain way, having more muscle makes you more resistant, stronger, it's going to help you in your daily life. You don't even know it now, but once you have it, you'll see it. Another benefit is to separate them. Um, if you think about our arms, people will think, oh, I'm gonna exercise my arms, and they think of whatever exercise comes to mind. Most people think this, and this is a bicep. But, okay, this is your bicep. It's, it's a muscle that says the word bi in it, B-I for two. So it's a bicep that's divided in two parts, here, and then somewhere in here. I'll probably try to get a diagram for you. So it has two parts, and you have the back of the arm that has the tricep. Uh, if it has three muscles, it's gonna be easily a bigger muscle. Now, the tricep will help more with pushing, anything that has to do with pushing, while the bicep has to pull. So if you're doing something like this that requires a pull motion, that's gonna work your bicep. But if you're doing something like a pushing motion, it's gonna be your triceps that are involved. Now, the different kinds of positionings will work certain parts of the bicep or the tricep in a better way, but that all depends. And just getting to know these, these exercises, learning them little by little will help you do it. And this is very basic, what we're talking about muscle. I'm gonna have many more educational videos about, pro, about, excuse me, about muscle. But basically one of the last things we're gonna to touch on this one is basically about protein because that's something everybody talks about. There's memes, there's videos, funny stuff about protein. And that's what they take for recovery. So if you are planning on heavy, doing heavy exercises for your muscles, taking protein, usually about one gram 
per pound of body weight is what the professionals do. That's not something that you'll have to do, especially at the beginning. But I mean, you could set it as a, uh, like a standard. And if you do that, then if on your way there, let's say for example, you are at 150 pounds, you don't have to do 150 grams of protein a day. But if you just set it as a goal and you say, okay, well, let me try to get 90 or 100, then you'll at least consume a decent amount of protein. Now it's not as hard as you think, but if you are, if you do aim to monitor your protein count, then you'll see that it's really not that hard. So what that means is if you make it one day and then the next day you don't, at the following day, then you should just pick up where you left off. And they're not necessarily expensive product. It's, it's marketed that way. But if you were to invest a little bit in that sense, or you just buy more natural resources of that, then like just, I gave you the protein videos in the past, you can use those as reference. You'll see that it's really not that hard and it could be affordable and it's overall better for your recovery. Your muscles will go big, bigger, stronger, and it'll happen gracefully. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned from it. It's very basic, like I said, just so you can get familiar with the concept of muscle. And I appreciate the support you've been giving me on, the, on TikTok, on Facebook, and on Instagram. The comments in the section below, you already know what to do with that. We're making videos every Tuesday, and if I could, I'll release videos every, every so often that are not on Tuesdays as well. So remember, everybody, if you do more, you will be more.